Hello everyone, welcome back to another video. Today I'm going to be going over the hurricane potential again in today's tropical update. Um, no need for a long intro, without further ado, let's get started. And this video might be shorter than my other ones, it might be longer, we'll just have to see. <laughs> so, basically, um, we're going to be uh, showing the 12Z run, so we see around hour 204... The system starts to get its act together on 1,001 millibars. We see heavy rain on the eastern side of the system, and that is definitely going to cause some bad marine conditions as well as that's probably going to bring some tropical depression, tropical storm force winds, and high wind gusts to parts of Central America. And, of course, this system, as it gets stacked together, will move north. And basically... It, we're going to skip to the peak here right before landfall, 989 millibars, 234 hours out. It shows heavy rain going onto the coast, and that's definitely going to cause some landslides and mudslides due to Central America having that type of geography and area where it's easy for these uh, landslides to happen. Of course, that's going to be strengthened by high wind gusts and... Uh, tropical storm force winds that due to the mountainous terrain of San Central America and the Yucatan I am thinking that those um, tropical storm force winds will be very like confined to off the coast and on the direct coast but we're still going to have to watch out for those wind gusts 988 millibars landfall um, so uh, what I just showed you was the peak this is lower millibars but it's not as it's still not as strong wind wise but yeah, we're definitely seeing um, heavy rain on the coast. Also, sorry for any background noise. Anyway, so this is at two forty six hours, and basically heavy rain. Basically, heavy rain is spreading to Cuba, so that might cause um, some flooding there. But we're definitely gonna have some major flooding on the Yucatan if this happens. Like I said, uh, take this with a grain of salt, though, because of course it's far out. And then one thousand one millibars because it's gonna stall over the Yucatan, causing a lot of flooding there, and we might even see a tropical wave become something off the Bahamas, but that is fairly new, so um, I wouldn't trust that too much just yet. This is at hour 3.30. Now we have a 1,005 millibar system, which is basically what that's going to do is um, it's pretty much dead now because of the system stalling over the Yucatan. Now, basically, the Gulf Coast is still at a large risk, so I suggest that you wait till later in the video. I'm going to still talk about the Gulf Coast risk later in the video. So basically, it's weakening because the GFS is taking it closer to the Yucatan, so it stalls over the Yucatan. Basically meaning it's going to die out before it gets to the Gulf, but there's still a high risk that it will go to the Gulf of Mexico. It's a strong system. It's, it could still go back and forth. It could go back east and cause another major hurricane on the Gulf Coast in the models or not. Either way, um, everybody still has to watch out because the system is still being shown in the GFS. So we see tropical storm force winds at hour 240. Like I said, there's probably going to be confined to the direct coast and off the coast. So we're really going to have to watch out for if this goes more east or if it stays on the Yucatan and high wind gusts, as you see. Um, you see out to the um, um, east and north, we have some high wind gusts there, but that's mainly just due to the marine conditions being bad. But yeah, we definitely do see um, these wind gusts being uh, bad on landfall, and then they quickly weaken as the system goes inland, and the mountainous terrain kind of rips the system apart. But yeah, uh, we see up the potential um, 16 inches of rain, and isolated amounts up to 24 inches as the system will stall over the Yucatan, and outer areas of heavy rain could cause up to 24 inches of rain in Cuba as well. Um, heavy um, rain... Not heavy rain, not no, high uh, waves, sorry. <laughs> Up to 25 feet um, in isolated amounts, but 23 feet widespread on the Yucatan. So horrible marine conditions, obviously, since the tropical system. And GFS is mainly showing this storm getting to a high tropical storm strength. It, it's not as strong, of course, because the Yucatan kind of weakens the system. And finally, it's where I talk about the Gulf Coast. So in previous runs, GFS is kind of showing this um, um, storm getting relocated east which would cause it to strengthen a lot like in previous runs and go into the gulf and that could either happen by going in between the yucatan and cuba and going into say central gulf eastern gulf it could go fast over the yucatan and then strengthen a lot in the bay of Cancun and other part in the western gulf of mexico because it's strong there and then going into the western gulf or it could do a recurve hit a little bit of western cuba or just go very close to it and then go into the florida peninsula and then go up the east coast or out to sea after that. So, and maybe even to 
is a little bit of ba the Bahamas too. So we'll have to watch out for that. If you have any questions about it, I would love to hear your thoughts or questions in the comments. Anyway, guys, I hope you enjoyed this video, and I'll see you guys tomorrow. Goodbye.